Hi everyone, it's Peggy with Wild Magnolia Soaps. And before I get started, I want to apologize for my lack of being here. The holidays just went crazy and I had to restock a bunch of other products and I knew the soaps wouldn't be done in time for the holidays, so I just put doing those off. Um, and we also had a death in the family, so I had to go out of town for a while to take care of that. So. Here I am, and today we are restocking our ever-popular werewolf soap. And uh, this is going to be made in a huge slab. Well, maybe not huge to some of you, but huge to me. I typically only make nine bars at a time. This one makes nine, eight, eight, 27 bars or more. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've already pre-measured my oils and my lye and all that. So here's the oils. Let's get that started. All right. So now we're going to add the lye water. Okay, let's get that stirred up. So for the fragrance, I'm going to be using Werewolf from Nature's Garden. It smells fabulous. It's a nice masculine scent. And we're going to color it with uh, the just the natural colored batter. And then I'm going to make a little bit of some silver fin blue from uh, Mad Micah's. And it's a really gorgeous color. And then we're going to use some activated charcoal for the black. All right. That's, looks like it's... Nice and firm for the moment, so let's... Go ahead and mix... Oh, I didn't add the fragrance, did I? Silly girl. Actually, I'm just going to pour it in the thing and then I'll stick blend it. So I know I'm kind of off camera. So we're going to pour in some of the blue. Okay. And then the charcoal. bit more to the blue hmm. all right so let's go ahead and stick blend these real quick already thickening. Let's see, can you see through my ginormous bucket? Making a mess as always. much I'm going to go in with my spoon because I'm going to do an in the pot swirl with the white and the blue so I want it to be rather fluid and now we're doing the charcoal and I also know that because this is such a big batch boy I'm making a mess that 
I don't want to get it too thick because it's I've got a lot of work to do with it. All right, I rinse this off. And actually, I meant to say that I uh, well, out of the way. I meant to say I'm in the pot swirling with the black and the white or creamy color, I should say. I'm glad I figured that out before I poured it because, you know, sometimes my brain just doesn't catch up with me. I know what I'm doing, but my brain don't. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you can see how thick it's starting to get. So I'm going to go ahead and this is a process. I'm going to try to pour high so it gets in there. I think I made too much black. So I'm going to save a little bit. I'm just going to go whoop, 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 whoop. All right. I sure am messy. All right. Now, let's get our mold. Okay, so first we want a layer of blue. I'm going to go over this one last time just to make sure I got the bottom everything stirred. I just love this blue, it's so pretty. So I'm going to pour a layer of blue I'd say that's about half I think I should have made more blue Should have made more blue. All right. And now I'm going to do a double check on this black. See how thick it's getting already. We're going to have to keep this nice and thin by stirring it. So let's just set that aside. So now we're going to come on. Let's see if I can do this. I'm used to doing it with small hand or small buckets. Yeah, it's not going to work. We're just going to have to take our chances. I'm too weak. Hopefully it doesn't Yep. Very carefully. Alright, so now you can see that the uh, more white is coming through, so we're going to add the last of the black. just gonna do a and I realize now that you can't see me sorry all right I guess this bar we're gonna have more black than then blue. I wasn't thinking. 
That's all right. Just trying to get every last drop out of this big old bucket. Thick it got. Which is all right at this stage. carefully spread our batter and of course I forgot to set some aside for the top but that's okay That's all right. All right. I think we'll just do a little texture. Nothing fancy. We're just going to do some little swirl. Not the best swirls I've ever done. <laughs> That's for certain. go all right so there she is or he is or it is here it is and I will go ahead and cut this tomorrow so I'll uh, see you guys then thanks hey everybody it's Peggy and I'm back to cut this slab of werewolf scented soap so let's open it up and see where we're at Always have a tad bit hard time with getting it out. There we go. Okay, let's move this out of the way. All right, so you can see that it did gel, which I like. I like to gel my soaps. Don't you just love that blue? Uh, so here's the inside. I got a little more black and less white this time around, but that's all right. Okay. And this one, I always have a hard time getting these exactly right. Let me think I'm going to position this. I think 
I want to go like this. Maybe. We'll see. I never seem to get this one straight yet. But then again, I've only tried a few times. I have I don't use this mold that often. Alright, let me zoom out. Let me go up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Alright. <laughs> you can see my corner got a little rounded there but here's how the inside looks okay I find by putting the wax paper on here it makes it easier to slide I love that twang sound. Okay. Loaf number two. Loaf number three. Still a little soft yet. Alright. Let's move this out of the way. Don't have much counter space in my place, so... It's hard to get it just right. Now I'm going to zoom back in so you can see better. Alright. And then of course my cupboards are right in the way. And if I don't be careful, I'll chop my fingers off with this blade falling down on me. Yep, we could have, probably could have waited a little bit longer to cut this because it's still kind of soft. Alright, here we go. There's the end piece. Not bad. Usually I have more blue and less middle, but I kind of like it this way. Works for me. So I'll show you a couple more and I don't think you really need to see the entire video of me cutting. So, but, and they smell fabulous. These will be ready around the end of January, or should be ready. So there they are. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks.